We need to agree on some basic things. First, leading edge. This is the part of the airfoil that hits the air, right? And uh, it's usually curved, like you see in this picture. Then we have the trailing edge in the back. So the air will be coming this way. This is the air flow. And the trailing edge is at the back. The trailing edge is usually pointed like that. Then the sort of the vector of the air, we usually call it the relative wind. We use that terminology for the air hitting an airfoil. And then the point, say, of ma if you think about the point of maximum, the farthest away point of maximum curvature here on the leading edge to the trailing edge, that maximum distance is called the cord. Here's the cord, cord length or just cord. Usually we use the letter <laughs> C for the cord. The angle between the cord and the relative wind Here's the cord. Here's the relative wind coming horizontally in this picture. This angle is called the angle of attack. Usually we use the Greek letter alpha for that, angle of attack. So we're going to use that a lot for our discussion. Angle of attack is going to be an important, very important parameter in all our discussion. Now, perhaps a little less, um, uh, you know, of less importance, we're not going to use it as much, but some other terminology that is important for the uh, airfoil is the camber, which represents the curvature. So, um, a uh, perfectly symmetric, uh, that doesn't look very symmetric. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let's try. Imagine that's a very symmetric airfoil, okay? Then that very symmetric airfoil, we have basically no camber because the cord and that middle line that is equidistant from the top side and the bottom side coincide. So it's a straight line in the middle. That's no camber airfoil. But then you have other airfoils that have a lot of camber. For example, the um, vanes in a turbine, in a jet engine or something will have a lot of camber. Let me see if I can draw this. How's that? That's a lot of camber right there. Okay? So the cord here, funnily enough, the cord is going to be from here to here a straight line. So it, it isn't even contained in the airfoil right there. See? That, that's a cord. Whereas the camber is going to be a line like that. Okay? And then you have lower camber for the lower side and upper camber for the upper side. That's the terminology. Okay? Thank you.